All right, Taurus, here we go. After the cut, I got a four of pentacles here. Just, just I cut the deck before I hit record. I got four pentacles. Something afraid? Somebody's afraid of you? Fear holding back? Miser? Something somebody didn't tell you? I don't know. Let's shuffle the deck and find out. Let's take a look at Taurus, position two in my 12 slice of the pie zodiac fly through for December 2024. Let's do it. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. I'm not a fucking time lord. All right? This can play out in January for some of you. In fact, for a lot of you, it probably will. A lot of the energy of December gets activated around the 1212 portal and supercharged by Mars retrograde in Leo. Just before in the early January, it moves back into Cancer. Oh, boy. I'm telling you, we'll get there. We got, so we got some interesting readings coming up this month. But right now, let's start here. Overall energy for you is the Hierophant. Well, you may, I get this a lot for you. Either you were with this person, married, whatever, and they ran from you. For some of you, they just ran. Either way, you're already together in the 5D. You're still together in the 5D, even if you sign divorce papers with this person. It's a hangman. Something's about to change here with your connection with somebody this month. Something's about to change. All right, A part of it that's been dormant, a piece of energy is about to break off from the tree and wake the fuck up. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, we're doing pyramids for the monthlies like we have been. You know, um, Top row is how this person feels about you. Middle is how they see you. Bottom is potential final outcome for you. I'll clarify whatever needs clarifying. How do they feel? Let's go. Yeah, let's see. Something's happening here. Something's happening. It's like an earthquake. It feels like an earthquake, like a tremor. Like, sort of like the way they sometimes pick stuff out of trees. I don't know what it is. I think it's nuts. Like almonds, I think they shake the tree, don't they? Or something like that. Or they have a machine that like shakes the tree. I don't know. It's something. It could be that. It could be olives. I don't know. But it, it feels like that. It feels like the hangman tree is being shook. All right? What's going on here? Eight swords. What did I say? Look, eight swords. How do they feel? Eight swords, the devil. Oh, oh, two, two, two cards. Two cards. Page of cups. A star is mourning attached to this sorrow purple that came up in the extended for the monthly overview I talked about purple I think it was around a five of swords in that context in this context purple can be magic it can be destiny it can be a wonderful thing but it's also sorrow right it, it ties in directly to death in that manner right which the sorrow ties to here. Somebody feels great, lost for you. It's probably somebody... Look, if you were married to this person and the divorce papers are signed or you just split up from them and, and the metaphorical divorce papers are signed, they are feeling a great fucking loss. They're feeling lost without you. What am I going to do without you? Kind of an energy. If not, if it's somebody who just freaking ran from you, okay, you guys just broke up in the 5D. Somebody came and shook the 5D tree, Major Arcana, and all your nuts fell down. Okay? Um, something like that. So, how do they feel about you? How do, I, how do I phrase it? I'm not saying you're broken up forever. I'm just going to explain the energy to you. How, 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 how are they feeling? They're feeling like you just broke up. One way or another. Alright? But I do think something happened in the 5D here. Kind of did. You didn't do anything with this energy in the 5D. It just sat there. It can't live without your input on it. So it died. Look, I didn't know any of this was here. This is why I, sh this is why I don't just read energy, why I pull the cards. I don't need the cards, but look, it backs up everything I said. Something's happened here. Okay. And in, in the 3D, it's resulting in somebody attached to you feeling a great deal of sorrow. A great deal of sorrow. Like, what are they going to, something's missing. What are they going to do without you? Right? Sort of a thing. Where's my pants? Kind of a thing. You're their pants. How do they see you? Ten of cups. And the nine of cups. They see you happy without them. That's why they see you. Is this, it, it doesn't, don't come at me and go, Steve, that's not true. Yes, it is. And I'll tell you why. Because it's all about perception. The 5D. There's a lot of 5D involved here, kids. 5D, 5D, this is huge. These are major arcana, big major arcana, big major arcana. These are little minor arcana cards. This is bullshit, okay? These are little Volkswagen Beetles. These are semi-trucks. They're going to run it down, all right? 
At the end of the day here, it's all about perception. The 5D can manipulate the 3D very easily. So this person has it in their head that you're fine, you're doing great, you're living your dreams, you're, you're, you're terrific, oh, I'll never get you back again, there's never any chance, oh, I blew it, oh my God, it fucking sucks. I suck. There's sorrow, deep sorrow, almost dangerous sorrow with the devil attached to it. Okay? It's fine. It's all because something happened with this. I don't know what, and I think in the 5D, what happens is, you might be together in the 5D. I'll put some hocus pocus on. You might be together in the 5D, but that energy needs to be fed. It's not independent of you. It needs to be fed in some way. Somebody stopped feeding it. Something happened. And when you do that, it's not gone forever, though. It's not. Three swords. There's a lot of love there. There's a chance. Somebody, all somebody has to do to bring it back is want something. That's it. That's the secret. Want uh, the Three of Pentacles. They, they, all, all somebody has to do to bring it back is to want to bring it back. That's all. Sort of like the Wizard of Oz where Dorothy, all she had to do to go home the whole fucking time was just say, there's no place like home and click her fucking heels together. Something they could have, as many comedians have pointed out, something they could have said they could have told her at the beginning of the fucking movie and avoided all this bullshit, right? Could have just told me that before. I'm telling you now. Now you know. I'm not going to pull that bullshit on you and make you walk a yellow brick road and then at the end tell you, well, all you had to do was just want it. Okay. All you have to do is want something with this person. Either one or both of you stopped wanting it. And somebody here is feeling the deep, deep sorrow of that. Right. I don't blame you. If, if you're divorced from this person and the papers are signed, move on with your life. Okay, fine. It's good. But, you know, it's affecting this person on a high level. Okay, I'm just saying. You don't have to take me literally. Just catch my drift. And I'm trying to teach you something about energy. Right? And save you the trouble of walking the yellow brick road and going through all these adventures with flying monkeys and shit. You know, just click your heels and want something. That's all. Uh, potential final outcome for you, Red, with eight swords. Queen of Wands. Um, somebody, somebody shows up. It's the attractive aspect of the Queen of Wands. Somebody shows up. The, the final outcome is this person, whoever this is, shows up in front of you. But they're not showing you how they feel. They almost show up under an energy of resentment. That you're, if somebody resents that you're so pretty, you're so, they almost show up in, in a way of like almost not tearing you down, but just, just resentment. That's how it feels. It feels like, you know, you, you know you look good in that outfit. They're going to pick on it in some way, right? You look like you're in Lord of the Rings or something. Where are you going? Right? Like that. Even though you look fabulous, whether you were going to go after the magic ring or not, it doesn't matter. It's almost that. So they show up hiding their true feelings. Okay. All right. Fine. Let's clarify. Let's go. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. The Burger King. Randomly at the bottom. The King of Wands. The Burger King. All right. Let's clarify. Let's clarify this Eight of Swords. Okay. No. No, 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 no. Let's clarify the devil. Let's go. Give me the devil. My, my intuition corrected me instantly. I thinking, no, I don't want to do that. I've got a pit in my stomach. Oh, no, don't pull on that. That will come with that, and we'll pull on that anyway. Let's pull on the devil, which is tied to the star, by the way. What's this little page of cups here? It's just the love that they still feel, that they feel. But, but with all these bigger cards on top of it, this is like a little girl falls in love, and two grown-ups say, oh, but you'll never get them. Oh, you silly little thing, right? Terrible. Terrible. All right. Those are. It's just. It's. It's just the way it is. That's. So that's what the page of cups is doing there. That's all. Uh, why is the and the net result is is sorrow and loss and what am I going to do now? What am I going to do? So you show up, but there's resentment. It's tied to these here. Somebody's a fairly low vibration here. Somebody's very ego based. That's why that King of Wands showed up. Mm -hmm. And I noticed the King of Wands was randomly at the bottom, and I've got a Queen of Wands here. We'll get there. Right now, I need to pull on this devil. Yeah, it's all fear. It is. It's all fear. Four of Pentacles. 
which was randomly at the what wasn't that randomly at the bottom when we started this after the cut or something wasn't it or am I thinking of some other reading I don't fucking care or no doesn't matter four of pentacles fear 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 right again What's this little page doing here? Oh, I'm so in love. I love Steve's viewer. Ah, pfft. you're never going to get Steve's viewer. Look at you. Look at you. You look like you're going out for the Lord of the Rings or some shit. Right? Not in that outfit. You know, it's like that. It's a very insulting kind of shutdown sort of a thing. All right? It's discouragement. It's the way we're often controlled by people around us. Discouragement. Right? It is what it is. I got a friend come from one of those families that all seem to pick on each other. And I, every time I'm around them, I read the energy. He's insistent on telling me that, no, it's perfectly fine. That's just what we do. We pick on each other. And I, I kind of look at it with, with one eye. I go, really? I, I'm picking up some real shit. You know, there's a lot of control, resentment, through control through resentment and digging down. They want to make sure you don't get really high. You, know, you don't want to hear it. Okay, fine. That's pretty much it. I just stopped stop saying anything but he's full of shit if he thinks that it's just it's just what our family does we just pick on each other no 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 there's some resent there's a lot of resentment there's a pit of the stomach i get when i'm around those people all right what's on top here it's a little of that here okay a little of that the way this person feels they do, they they see you the universe is making them see you be successful right here's nine cups here here's nine cups here Right? It's the universe is making them see you, give you, giving them the perception that you're successful and you're doing great. And it, it's, it's doing that to fuel this devil, basically. It's doing that to fuel this. I don't know why. I don't know what the purpose is. But something's happened here. Something's gone wrong. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Yeah, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, it's seeing that you're doing well, feeling that you make them feel good makes them not want you makes them want to sabotage this it's putting a self sabotage kind of energy on this i'm surprised there's not a five of swords yet you know i'm surprised well, there isn't all right let's since we got the nine of cups let's pull on the nine of cups yeah it's it's a pretty common energy here i don't know what's going on i'm going to need to pull on the hierophant separately so i will i just want a crossing card on the uh, nine of cups so that I get a vibe here mm, yeah the ten of Pentacles oh yeah it's sort of like imagine you left you you and this person split up let's say that let's just use that as an example now what they're seeing is that you're doing great oh yeah you got the life you wanted right but unfortunately this devil energy likes to tear things down just like I said around this little, why is this page of cups here? Is she in love? This devil energy is causing it to tear, tear it down. Oh, you, can, you ain't got a shot at that, right? I like Jimmy Mullins, do you? Jimmy Mullins ain't going to go for a little shit like you, right? It's like that. It's that kind of devil frequency, right? It's, it's, not, it's just, it's not your, your brother or your friend picking on you. It's just a prick. That's all it is. I mean, it's really what it is. There's no need for that. That's not a thing. It's a devil energy. All right? It lives inside a person. All right? This, is, this person has that kind of thing going on right now. But it's happened because something's happened to this Hierophant. And we're going to find out what? Right the fuck now with the little animal deck. What happened with this Hierophant? Tell me about it. Mm, where do I want to put it where it's separate? Right there. Tell me about it. Let's go. What happened here? And then we'll clarify that. Right now, give me the Hierophant. That's what I need. Four of Cups. Again, what did I say? Oh, shit, did I shuffle it away? No. What's our base? Oh, yeah. Four of Cups underneath the... See, the Four of Cups was underneath the the um, hangman, which was with the hair fan. I said they shake in the tree because nobody was interested in this connection. Nobody was interested in this connection. You can get the same answers. Underneath that's the ten swords, right? And then the three swords. A lot of, there's still a lot of love here. This is telling me how much love is left in the tank. It's a full tank of love. Don't walk away from a full tank of love, right? All you got to do is click your heels and want it. Um, yeah, somebody... Um, Nobody wanted this. Nobody was paying attention to it. Somebody took their eye. It could be one person. I don't know. The universe seems to think it's one person. See the fox here on the seven of swords is one eye. 
One eye left this. Somebody walked away. Somebody took their eye off the ball here. All right, what's on top? If it wasn't you, it was them. All right, sure as fuck wasn't me. I'm here pulling on this shit all the time. Ten wands. Why is it? It was too much. Yeah, it, it puts too much strain on the on the energy of the connection. Why is the ten wands here? It's, it's, yeah, the king of pentacles. Yeah. Um, I, let me pull out one more before I open my mouth. The yeah, other queen of cups. Just, there's a lot of love here. Um, and there's the hangman. See, it had to show up. There's the four of cups and the hangman. There's the hangman and the four of cups. So, I'd probably get a ten of swords if I kept pulling, but I don't need to. I know what's here. Okay? This is a very powerful connection built on love. The love, it's uh, the uh, Captain and Tennille connection. It, it's what I label things with music sometimes, too. It, it, their big hit is love will keep us together. Right? Love will keep us together. It is. It, your, the love you two share is what keeps this connection alive. There's the connection. It's a ball of energy. And you two each plug into it. You each, even if you've broken up, have a shitload of love. Somebody here went all dark on it. Perhaps this energy snuck in to somebody. So this took hold. I, they weren't possessed. This isn't the exorcist. But these energies can these energies can get in. They can sneak in like a cold can get past your nose hairs to infect you. Your nose hairs are like your first line of defense against getting sick. You know, occasionally one gets through and you get sick. Well, this snuck through somebody's metaphorical nose hair and now they're this energy. And when that happened, it, it destabilized your connection up there in the 5D. So now we've got somebody who feels like, they? what am I going to do now? Feels like you're gone. Feels like you're doing great, whether you are or aren't. And, the, and their reaction to it is one of is one of the older brother that picks on you. You like Jimmy Mullins, but you're too ugly for Jimmy Mullins, right? It's, that's their reaction. It, it's it, as false as it may be, it is what it is. Your final outcome is the Queen of Wands. It's, it's a very attractive energy. It's a beautiful energy. I don't know what to tell you here. We're going to pull on it. Um, actually, wrong deck. Actually, yeah. Well, what is that? That's a two, two of uh, cups. Okay, we'll take it. Um, what am I clarifying with the lightseer? Let's go. So we have a two of cups already crossing it. Maybe your beauty reactivates the connection. I don't know. Let's see. Let's pull on the queen of wands. It's a crazy energy. I had to go into the 5D to find out what happened here. You got you, you got it, whoever this person is, you got you a Captain and Tennille with them. How about that? Which one of you is the boat captain with the funny hat? You know, I don't know. Love, love will keep us together. Listen to the words. Listen to the song. Give them some royalties. Help out the captain or Tennille. I don't even know if they're still alive. I have no idea. I know it was like 1979. If that number means anything to you, 1979. I don't know. Maybe you were born in 1979. I don't know. It was a good year for me. It was the first year I tried white chocolate. I remember 1979. I got a white chocolate bunny for Easter. It was the first year, first time ever I tried white chocolate. Wow. I was adorable. I loved it. <laughs> 1970. And my dad was, my dad used to wear a shirt that year that, that said Disco Sucks. I remember his Disco Sucks t shirt. I remember. 1979. All right, here we go. The Captain and Tennille, right? Love will keep you together. And that's why the three, that's why the fucking Three of Pentacles is there. That's why I gave you the tip, the tip that Dorothy, see, you could turn that Ten of Swords around if you just want it. Love. Love will keep you together. Come on, Captain and Tennille. All right, Five of Cups. Um, this person disappoints you on their approach. You got a powerful soul connection here. I've already described it. I've told you some touching stories about a white rabbit and a Disco Sucks t-shirt and the year 1979. I mean, it's right here. A beautiful connection you have with this person and they just disappoint you in their approach. They may reach out. You may hear from this person. You may hear something about them. Or they may do something to you. Again, I, I equated it to... What the fucking hell? I equated it to the uh, the mean brother. 
Right? She liked Jimmy Mullins. He says, no, you're too ugly for Jimmy. They might do something like that online. They may say something to you or about you online. It's possible. Now, I, something about this disappoints you here. Makes you sad. Creates a little bit. It weighs heavy on your mind with the Ten of Wands fueling a Five of Cups. What's on top? The Eight of Pentacles. Ignore it. Brush it off. That's what I'm telling you. I know it's easy to say. It was easy to say, Steve. They said I was too ugly for Jimmy Mullins. I know. You're not. Do you believe you're too ugly for Jimmy Mullins? Whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. I, I get guys all the time that come at me and go, I gotta pick a gender. Okay? It's fine. Just be gay for one minute. Okay? Calm the fuck down. It's okay. There's no name tags on the energy. Jesus Christ. You know, honestly. Homophobia is a sign you're gay anyway. So... Be cool, all right? Right here. Here we go. Ignore it. Water off a duck's back, all right? Which is what this little sister should do with the with the brother in that analogy, right? Water off a duck's back, because if because if you let it, if you, if you, if you let the words penetrate, if you let the words penetrate, you'll be outside with no pants on, all depressed, heavy, weighing on your mind. It'll weigh you down in life, all right? And later you'll need to rise up like a phoenix. No, no, you're better than this. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The hangman. Look at that. See, it all hinges on this motherfucker right here, getting shaken out of the tree, right? Um, you're getting this reading. I'm giving you the hangman right now. You're getting this reading. It's very clear, and I'm not trying to put any importance on myself. It's a stupid fucking chocolate cupcake tarot channel on fucking YouTube. Let's be very clear, all right? But the universe does. It's been the story of my life. It's used me as some kind of conduit for a while. All right? And I know for some of you this channel means a lot and all that kind of stuff. But if I ever start thinking it's anything more than a stupid chocolate cupcake, then uh, we're, we're screwed. I can't be of any help to you. So you can think what you want about my channel. But for me, it's a stupid YouTube channel. It has to be. All right? That being said, that keeps this type of energy out. All right? At the end of the day here, apparently, I'm giving you some perspective. I'm telling you. Water up when this person shows up. Don't be disappointed. Don't think about anything they say. Just take what I told you. They love the living shit out of you. Somebody took the eye off the ball. You've got a Captain and Tennille connection with this person. It's one of my own classifications. It's very rare. It's the first time it's come up where love holds it together. Whether you're together or separate, your lives are better when you feed this connection. When And again, the connection's an energy here. You two plug into it. Your individual lives are better when you feed the connection. So, uh, ideally, it's both sides. It doesn't have to be. Each side benefits independently from feeding the connection. That's why I think it's them that took their eye off the ball and some devil energy got in. Because you seem to be thriving fine. You seem to be doing okay. And this may very well be true on some level. If it's not, then it was both of you. All you need to do is, again... Click your fucking heels three times and want something from this. Want to feel it again. Just feel it. You don't have to be with the person. But apathy hurts both of you on both sides. If you're sitting with their arms crossed or you're sitting like that and the other, they're sitting with the arm, it doesn't help this connection. So this person comes in, know why they come in, laugh about it, and feel some love for them because of it. This person loves the fuck out of you. You're getting information. We got the hangman here, here. And it's a key part of the reading here. All right, so you're getting the perspective here. All right, it's telling me that here. It's telling me that here. About, about I gave you the perspective with the look. There it is, ten swords. All you got to do is want something. And now you're getting the perspective here of just let it roll off you. Do not let it weigh on you or weigh you down. You got things to do, people to see, places to go in the coming years. Energy. You're rising like a fucking phoenix. Rise above it. Okay? That's your reading. That's all I got for you. I hope it was helpful. Watch it a few times if it wasn't because you're always going to run into shit like this in your life. This isn't about just the soulmate cycle. It's about me teaching you about energy and how it works so you can live a better life. So go live a better life. Spot people for who they are and what they are. Right? All right? It's not somebody who cares about you that's picking on you. It's just an asshole caught in this kind of energy here. Somebody who's got a little bit of an inferiority complex about themselves so they bring down other people that's it end of story that's your reading i hope it was helpful if you like this reading please like share and subscribe appreciate all the subscribers everybody who shares and everybody who watches good luck